intermission and out in the Midwest somewhere between Montreux and Monterey. That covers a lot of territory and Basie is on tour. Veteran uh, colleague of Count Basie, Freddie Green, who uh, composes, arranges, and modestly lives in the rhythm section behind a guitar. And he's been observing a lot of events over the years. Freddie, uh, your assessment of the leader over there. Well, he's about the greatest guy I've ever met, musically and uh, socially. He's tops as far as I'm concerned. What do you think it is that uh, makes a good leader through uh, the many thousands of miles that you have to travel through life to maintain the art of jazz and big bands? And uh, what one characteristic seems to stand out? Well, I think uh, knowing the musicians, and, uh, like Basie, like he's, there's so many different personalities in, in, within, among uh, the band and understanding each individual and uh, just being a good leader, not a, uh, a Simon Legree, so to speak, leader. I think that accounts for it, and knowing uh, what he wants and what sounds good to keep his band going. I think that's, that will do it. And for yourself, you've been in that rhythm section how many years? Oh, since uh, around 1937. Mm, I've been in there ever since. Was out a couple of months in the 50s uh, when he formed this small group, but I came back immediately after that, and, uh, and I've been here ever since. For you, what has been the calling? The calling has been rhythm, more or less, for me. And... Uh, Staying with this band as long as I, as I, I have has been just the ball, and uh, I enjoyed it. It was just uh, one big happy family from the beginning. And you certainly have had many uh, unusual and sterling skills and personalities in this organization. I go back and mention names like Lester Young, who played in this territory for a while with... Uh, a fellow by the name of Rook Gans and Boyd Atkins. And, uh, those, uh, I'm, I haven't, you know, uh, I haven't heard of uh, uh, the ones that you mentioned. I didn't know he was connected with, with uh, you know, those uh, groups. One winter in the 30s, he uh, escaped from Kansas City and brought his dog and his horn to Minneapolis and played here at a place called the El Patio with these gentlemen. Your your view of Lester as you worked over in the rhythm section? Well, <laughs> Lester Young was one uh, soloist and one individual that I really enjoyed playing for. I really loved to play uh, for him, to play rhythm for him, because uh, the way he played, it was so different from anybody else I've ever played for or heard, for that matter. And uh, he was just... <laughs> An outstanding individual. Unique man. Oh, definitely. How do you account for uh, the tone that he developed? Uh, I don't know. I don't know how he or where he got it from, but uh, it was so outstanding that uh, and so different. He was like ahead of his time, more or less. Like you play Lester Young today, and it's you know it's up to date. Way back, and you listen to some of those old things we made, and it sounds up to date right now. And so, uh, I don't know how to, you know, to what it is attributed to. But his style was—he uh, never repeated himself. You know, it was always something different whenever he played. We speak of computers today. He must have had an amazing computer. Uh, he must have. <laughs> Freddie, you play guitar. Certainly, uh, you heard a variety of guitarists as you were growing up and uh, worked uh, with, uh, with the Basie organization. Who comes to mind? Uh, any influences on you among guitarists? That we oh, well, I used to listen to uh, uh, guitarists. I used to play with Chick Webb's band, John Trueheart. And Alan Roos, 
I used to be with Benny Goodman. And these two guys, they were, as far as rhythm is concerned, they, they, I really liked what they were doing, you know, during that period. And for myself, I just tried to develop the sound myself. I always played rhythm. And, uh, but these two guys, I really enjoyed listening to. What do you think the role of your kind of uh, guitar playing is in a major band like this? I think it's a, a very important role uh, as far as uh, uh, jazz, a jazz, a big band is concerned. And it's a terrific uh, uh, asset to the rhythm section. I think every uh, big band should have a rhythm uh, uh, a guitarist. Freddie Green, thank you for putting <laughs> for letting me put you against the wall here on an intermission. I heard the call for the band. A pleasure to see you again. Oh, a pleasure to see you again, too.